Now, if you remember from the previous lecture, we migrated the contact service over from AngularJS to Angular, but in doing so, we ignored the issue of the toaster. We actually just removed the toaster or commented it out for now. And that's what we're gonna deal with in this lecture. We're gonna figure out how do we actually add this toaster back in. And the problem is, this toaster is actually a third-party module that we've included in. So it's part of the AngularJS toaster library. So what can we do? How can we get this AngularJS toaster to work inside our Angular application while we're in this dual booting hybrid mode? And this results in, I think, one of the most common problems when dealing with migrations from AngularJS to Angular is what to deal or how to deal with these third party modules. I think that's the biggest issue as a matter of fact. And, and I think there's basically three options and I'm gonna show you examples of all three of them in this course. So the first option is just to rewrite it from scratch, which actually isn't as complicated as you might think. And I'm gonna show you an example of that in one of the later lectures. The next thing we can do is actually just, just find an Angular version of the same component or service or, or something, or essentially the same library. Now, Angular's been around for quite a while now, for over a year, or just over a year, I should say. And so therefore, there's quite a lot of modules that are now being ported over from AngularJS over to Angular. Not as many as you might think, because actually the rewriting approach is so easy that often people will just choose to rewrite than to find the module. It is honestly that simple. And again, I'm gonna show you that later on. But also, there might be some Angular versions out there that you may wanna use. I'm gonna show you an example of that in this course. But something else you can do is upgrade temporarily. Now that might be a, a nice option, even if you're going for the rewrite or you want, you're going to upgrade to Angular. For instance, our toaster module, we probably, or we may want to be using that in other AngularJS components, okay? So we probably wanna use the same service in our Angular component or our Angular service as our AngularJS services. We kind of, for the, for the, until we're ready to migrate everything over to a new Toaster component, we may just wanna temporarily still be using our low level or our, our older AngularJS entity or, or, or component or service. Now that's possible in Angular, so if you remember what we've, this isn't exactly what we're gonna be doing, but just to demonstrate. So if you remember right now, we've got our resource, which we've migrated up to Angular. And we've also got our service, which we've migrated up to Angular, but then downgraded back to AngularJS so it can be used in other AngularJS components. But actually what you can also do is you can also upgrade things. So as well as downgrading things to work inside AngularJS, you can actually also upgrade AngularJS things so they can work inside Angular. And there's various different ways of doing that. I'm gonna show you one which we can use with our services right now. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to essentially create a file where we will upgrade our AngularJS uh, entity. So what I'm gonna do is I'm first going to create a file. Now the, 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 you can call it whatever you want, but it's normal to call it AJS upgraded providers. TS. AngularJS upgraded providers. Now I'm actually going to do a couple of things. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import something called an injection token. And again, I cover what injection token is on my course on my site codecroft.tv. And then I'm going to create an instance of a token called toaster. And then I'm going to create a, or add a, a factory function here. And I'm also then going to add the actual provider underneath. I'm going to explain these two in a second. So this is the actual provider. This is the thing I'm going to add to my ng module. And this has the this is a configuration object which tells it basically what to return for the token toaster. So if I request the token toaster, this injection token, it's going to call to figure out what to return for this toaster, it's going to call this function, this factory function here. And it's going to pass the factory function um, the injector. Now this dollar injector is the injector from our Angular JS side of the application. Okay. And then it's going to call this, it's going to pass it, that injector as I, and in Angular JS to, to resolve a dependency, you would call injector.get. And we're going to pass in toaster, the old toaster string. 
and then that's going to return the old toaster service from our angular js dependency injection framework so what this is doing is it's kind of making available to our modern angular dependency injection framework the dependency toaster from the old angular js dependency injection framework via the injector that's what this code is doing now it might seem a little bit complicated it's fairly simple once you get used to it and there's nothing else you really need to know if you're going to do this for any other module you'll just copy and paste this code change the name of the the tokens you're going to put it here the name of the dependency from angular js and and then that's it now to actually use this what we need to do is we need to go back into our main.ts and we need to add this to our providers underneath now again we need to add this back in so let's import it above there and it's actually going to be dot yeah so from dot let's get some space here oh too much space let's get a little bit more ah it's enough space anyway so that's what we need to do in order to upgrade that toaster service that third party toaster server which is only available on angular js and that's what we need to do to make that available also available in angular you can still use that in your angular js components but to make that available from your angular entities you just need to upgrade it using this ags upgraded providers technique so now that's available let's go into our service so specifically our contact service and let's add this to our code now again a couple of things we need to add here so first off we need to actually grab a reference to that toaster token so what we're looking for is a toaster token so if i click in we're grabbing this from there so let me go back into contact service okay so that's the actual token that we're trying to inject now we want to do this pretty much the same thing in our constructor we want to use the inject decorator and I'm going to pass it the toaster is the type and we're going to store that in a, in a private variable called toaster and it's, it's got no type really we've now got a local variable called toaster which is our old angular js uh, toaster so then now before I was just commenting those out now we can just use those functions just the same as we would have used them in our angular js application so I can uncomment them there so now that looks pretty good let us build this excellent everything looks good let's go back into our, our application hit refresh oh we seem to have an issue let's take a look at what the problem is ah okay so i seem to be uh, hitting these issues with track by on the person list component so what I'm going to do just to make sure that we don't get hit by this, what happens is, is an ng repeat can sometimes get confused when it thinks it's returning the same data all the time. Now to solve this, we need to add something called a track by. So I'm just going to go back into our code. I'm going to open up our person list component. Uh, let's close the terminal. And here. So in this ng repeat, I'm going to say track, track by person.id. So I'm just going to add that in just to make sure we don't get hit by that problem again. So let's build our application. Go back in and refresh. Okay, everything's looking good. We're still dual booting. And hopefully, fingers crossed, if everything's working by deleting something, we should see the toaster. And we do. Excellent. Everything's working as expected, the toaster is back in action.